The MS Society of Canada recently awarded a funding grant to researchers at Brock University. I am a third year PhD student here at Brock and we do uh, multiple sclerosis research. We're funded by the MS Society of Canada, which I am so grateful for. And so I study robotic rehabilitation for persons with multiple sclerosis, specifically training the upper limb. Inspired by her aunt who was diagnosed with MS, Kaylin saw firsthand the devastating effects of this disease. I had so many questions like, why is there no cure? Can we help? And then when I got into research, I realized that I could be a part of answering those questions. And that was very important for me to, to help answer the, the missing questions that we have still around MS. Mary Jo here is doing an eccentric contraction. So the robot is actually adding resistance to her as she's moving along the dots here. And so what that's doing is that's strengthening the muscles of the forearm like a resistance training program if anyone was to go to the gym and you would use some dumbbells or weights it's kind of the same theory here of what we're doing planes of motion that she's moving in so you saw up and down now she's going to the left and to the right here these are all movements that we use in our everyday life so you could think of if you're opening a jar with your hands or you were turning a key in a door those are all kind of things that we use these kind of motions for so we're strengthening all the muscles of the forearm to act at the wrist joint Diagnosed with MS in 1992, Mary Jo Proper has been involved with the research project since its inception. I can't walk without a walker and even then I can't go very far. At this point I use a scooter to go any distance. I, I, I couldn't even take a step without holding two things. Um, it, it, it took a while to get to that point, but that, that's the worst for me is that I just can't. Walk. The legs are stiff. It just it makes it harder to make everything move. We're hoping that the, with this training that we not only improve muscular strength, but we also improve coordination as well and maybe decrease spasticity. So with multiple sclerosis, there's a lot of symptoms that can occur and they're different in everyone. What we want to do is try and teach the hand and the brain how to work together and how to coordinate uh, and how to function as a unit. And also we're interested in training one limb and seeing if these improvements cross over to the untrained limb. This is known as cross education. We do know that this is effective for the healthy population as well as it's been shown for stroke patients, but it's unknown for someone with MS. And so if somebody did have an immobile limb, they could train their good limb to hopefully get their immobile one to a point where we could train it directly. So this could be revolutionary to the rehabilitation process. The MS research team is also made up of Brock undergraduate students. In this study, we have pre and post assessments, in which case we are using uh, transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is TMS. That's the part that I help out with. We're pretty much measuring a certain amount of assessments in the participants, whether they be part of the control group or whether they be part of the MS group. And we're looking at pretty much their improvement throughout the eight weeks. The MS Research Group has been collecting data since January of 2023 and are still looking for participants. I just want to get the word out there that uh, Brock does this research in our own home and it's really exciting that it's here. We do need a lot more people with MS, so if anybody with MS is willing to participate or be a part of the study or involved in any way, uh, I would be so grateful if they would reach out or we're just trying to find the community and spread the word that this research does exist uh, in our community. In Niagara, you're watching The Source. Right. <laughs>